Hi, and welcome to Experience Points by University XP. On Experience Points, we explore different ways we can learn from games. I'm your host, Dave Ang, from Gamespace Learning by University XP. Find out more at universityxp.com. On today's episode, we'll cover Gamespace Learning versus Gamification. Both Gamification and Gamespace Learning have entered popular culture. That means there's been debate and misunderstanding about what they are, what they're used for, and what differentiates them. Some people want to use games-based learning when they mean gamification. Others want to use gamification when they should be using games-based learning. Just what is the difference between games-based learning and gamification? Games-based learning and gamification sound alike, but they are really two different approaches. Games-based learning is an educational or an instructional method that uses games to teach a specific skill or reach a learning outcome. Games-based learning takes the content of your learning material and makes it fun. Gamification is an application of game-like elements in a non-game context. This is done to promote a specific desired behavior to drive those learning outcomes. You can see this clearly in the most public forms of gamification, points, badges, and leaderboards. The main difference between both of them is their application and integration. Games-based learning fully integrates games into the educational content. You can say the entire course or class has been turned into a game. Gamification, on the other hand, only uses elements from games to incentivize rewards or for making progress. So there's another and easier way to think about gamification. It's to view all of its applications as a system of encouragement mechanics. Gamification gets your students to want to do something in order for you to promote that desired behavior. Courses that use gamification include some of the most popular methods such as badges, experience points, levels, and leaderboards to incentivize students to complete readings and become recognized for their efforts. Gamification can also be seen in commercial entities with engagement software that strives to motivate employees. These also include applications in some much needed areas like onboarding, elimination of errors, and collaboration. Gamification's popularity has unfortunately also earned it a bum rap. That's because its widespread implementation has motivated others to attempt to use it quickly. This leads to poor executions for those that want to hop onto the trend. Those poor implementations in turn make it the target of mass critique. But gamification does have its positives. It is fast to implement because it merely augments the content that you already have. It's incredibly easy to add gamified mechanics into your existing system. So how does games-based learning compare to gamification? Games-based learning is a type of active learning that is accomplished within a game framework. Games-based learning includes learning objectives and measurable outcomes. Games-based learning isn't even new. If you've ever played Oregon Trail, then you've experienced games-based learning in one of its earliest forms. Simply put, the core of games-based learning is learning through games. Not with games, not by games, but through games. Games are a central part of a games-based learning approach. Compared to gamification, games-based learning uses games themselves to enhance the learning experience. A good example of this is the stock market trading game you played in your high school economics class. This game serves as one of those implementations of theory to practice. Through that game, I learned about supply and demand and a litany of other learning outcomes from high school economics. The use of games in these environments is also linked to simulations and serious games. Both of them use the core concepts and structures of games in order to help students reach their learning outcomes. In games-based learning, students are introduced to new concepts and skills where they can practice and implement them in a risk-free setting. This is advantageous because their retention and application of material is directly related to their development of understanding through gameplay. Games-based learning can also be used in a corporate setting where employees learn new skills for different applications in customer service, help desking, or team building. For all of its positives, games-based learning does have its drawbacks. It requires instructors, faculty, and trainers to create new copy, modules, and content. That can be time-intensive, consuming, and exhausting. This makes games-based learning a significant barrier for many. Though the payoff for this investment can be substantial, students must create their own knowledge and understanding experientially through games-based learning. The possible learning outcomes for students are endless when games are used. The key difference between games-based learning and gamification is in the experience. In gamification, elements can be layered onto a traditional classroom environment. The most popular elements are points, badges, and leaderboards. Conversely, games-based learning uses the core elements, structures, and rules of games to lead that learning experience. 
While gamification is a much faster and easier method of implementation, it doesn't always work best for all types of teaching and learning. It's often best suited for content that doesn't need to be memorized or requires a big shift in player behaviors. Gamification is best suited for nudging players into making small changes. Small changes made by many that affects the overall environment. Game space learning is about the game. Whether that is a serious game, simulation, the Oregon Trail, or the stock market trading game, the game is the heart of the experience. The game's content is the learning content. I hope you found this episode useful. If you'd like to learn more, then a great place to start is with my free course on gamification. You can sign up for it for free at universityxp.com slash gamification. You can also get a full transcript of this episode, including links to references in the description or show notes. Thanks for joining me. Again, I'm your host, Dave Ang from Game Space Learning by University XP. On Experience Points, we explore different ways we can learn from games. If you like this episode, please consider commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Subscribing is absolutely free and ensures you'll get the next episode of Experience Points delivered directly to you. I'd also love it if you took some time to rate the show. I live to lift others with learning, so if you found this episode useful, consider sharing it with someone who could benefit. Also, make sure to visit University XP online at universityxp.com. University XP is also on Twitter at university underscore XP and on Facebook as University XP. Also, feel free to email me anytime. My email address is dave at universityxp.com. Game on.